Hi, today we're gonna be putting away the IMO for storage. And there's a couple of important steps to take to do it properly to ensure that uh, you don't wreck the battery. And that's pretty important. Because <laughs> that uh, will not be covered under warranty. Um, so the first thing you wanna do with your IMO is put it into, uh, you wanna turn off the automatic mode. Because otherwise uh, it's gonna think it can go out and cut and you don't want that activating at any point during storage and drawing that battery down. So. Uh, to turn off automatic mode, we can walk through it here on the menu. So we'll go to the commands screen. And we're going to go right to this A symbol here with the arrows. And it'll ask you to say switch off automatic mowing. We're going to click OK. It'll ask you, do you want to switch it off? Yes. So I've got yes highlighted, click OK. It is off. And you can tell it's off because the start time now it just has dashes by it. There's no actual time there for it, for it. And also if I were to turn it back on, you'll see the little A symbol up in the top right that it's on. When I turn it off, that A symbol goes away. So that is squared away. Next step is make sure you've got full battery, make sure it's fully charged. Then you can unplug the docking station, which we've done already. And we can begin disconnecting the docking station. So on the back cover, there's a tab on each side. And just take your thumb. Just kind of pop it off side, slip the cover off, and then you've got one cord, that's your power cord going to your outlet, so that one can come off like so, and then we have uh, the other two connectors for our perimeter wire, and first thing before we take them off, we want to make sure we have one wire labeled. So we always know which one is, say, the right or the left uh, wire. And we'll pop this up, pull out our two wires, get them out of the way. Now you can see that they're twisted right now. Um, you want to have at least 15 inches of twisted wire. So just if you needed to maybe take a picture on your phone or make a note um, for next year, we're going to unravel that so we can get out the docking station. Now, if you want, you, you can leave the docking station outside, depending on where you live. Um, Steel says it's even fine up in the winter climates like here in Wisconsin. I just, I can't do it. I gotta, I'd sooner just bring it inside and, and make sure that it's gonna be in, in good weather. Um, just to reduce the life of the wear on it and such. So after you run the wires through, pad just has little tabs and uh, you just kind of pop the wire off each tab and then we just pull up our stakes if you need a hammer to help kind of get them started you can pull up on the on the mat too to get them started you if you want to mark where your holes are just to make sure um, really when you when you place it down next spring you can line it up with where your where your wire is but you just want to make sure that you're you're keeping that straight line off your mat we should be good here if you're gonna store it in your basement or something you may want to flip it over and just clean off some of the dirt and mud um, or just what I usually do is I just put it inside of a big Rubbermaid tote. Uh, I actually set it upside down. So that's good. Power supply cord. You're gonna want, want to take this, wrap it up, and bring this inside too. The extra perimeter wires that are left. 
ideally you want to get some wire covers, twist them on. You can get away with just electrical tape, but I don't know, I always figure might as well, might as well make sure it's good to go. Cover them up with caps, wrap them up with some electrical tape for the winter, and just set them off to the side and you're good there. As far as the IMO, again, as, as I mentioned, the most important thing is having a fully charged battery. The reason for that, if you don't, and uh, and not turning off the automatic mode, if you would have the battery discharge, it can discharge so low that it can't ever be recharged back up properly, and it'll ruin the battery. Uh, so just be sure to follow these steps to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, this one's pretty clean. This thing ran 70 hours a week, all season long. It's fairly clean. Um, not much I'm gonna really have to do with it. At some point, it would be good to, to pop the blade cover off from the shroud, scrape the, the grass off of there. Um, you can check with your local steel dealer. Um, there is uh, software updates to these units that do come out. If you had any unusual issues or anything like that, you may want to ask them about having a software update done. So that's it. I'm going to put it away for the winter and we'll see you next spring.